Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Kara and I are still out paddling the Manistee River with John and Emily. We intend to spend the whole week in the Manistee National Forest camping as we paddle 130 miles of the Manistee River. From the Manistee River Roadside Park all the way to Insta Launch on Lake Manistee, right on one of the bays of Lake Michigan. We've section paddled this great river, but never done it all in one go before. So what a better way to kick off the trip than by launching a couple hours late on the first day and getting blown off the river by a rainstorm and forced to shelter in our tents. After the first storm, it was mostly smooth sailing. Mostly. But we'll get there. For today, we just needed some time to get the gear laid out on one of those campsite docks provided by the National Forest Service. Uh, and once the gear and boats were dry and the dog had some plays, it's about that time to hit the river again. Because we had a bunch of hours and miles and time to make up. I like launch. Yeah. I feel like as soon as I get in, this is going to be a reality for me. The river was cold and fast after raining in the basin all night. With downed trees from the storm, it was kind of important to pay attention. This river is always pretty forgiving, even for beginners. At least we had the sun on our shoulders to keep us warm through a full day of paddling. We had to clear at least 30 miles before our next campsite at Hoddenpill Dam Pond. And that means more than a full day's paddle with as few stops as possible. With lunch and breaks taken in the boats when we can. Needless to say, Kara does not care for this arrangement. She also does not care for bridges. And there were a lot of bridges. The later on we went, as the day progressed, the more we realized we were going to be paddling in the dark. We do not recommend paddling in the dark. If you can avoid it, that is. But we had so many miles to cover, and with headlamps and a spotlight at the ready, we pushed on into the darkness, into that unknown. under bridges and into mud flats. Mud flats form at the places where rivers and lakes meet. 
The silt and sand builds up and you have to get out and walk your canoe through the shallow waters. That's a daunting task in the daylight with heavy canoes. It's downright terrifying at night in pitch black. Well, for everyone but the dog. She's pretty happy to be out of the boat. At least when we were in the boats paddling in the dark, we were paddling. And finally, after hours of searching the banks of Hoddenpill Dam Pond for some public access camping, we stumbled onto a little roadside park where we could lay out, lay down, and rest once more. Because we needed it. Tomorrow, we still had to work to get caught back up. And tomorrow, we have our first portage at the dam, ever. And that's going to wrap it up for this week, guys. If you liked it, or even if you didn't, please remember to give it the thumbs up and click subscribe down there somewhere, then ring that bell so you'll get a notification next week when Kara, Emily, John, and I portage across Hoddenpill Dam and continue our paddle down the Manistee River. Also, if you could leave us a comment, uh, you know, let, you know, let us know how you're liking that merch store. Let us know what we could add that you'd like. We're going to have some new stuff coming out for deer season, and we're going to be doing some giveaways when we hit 500 subscribers. So, you know, thanks for watching, guys. This has been MI Adventure Life.